check testing one two three yo what's up guys this is brother shield here um today we're gonna try another game called dark cloud uh let me just get this running uh we're just gonna jump straight into the game we're not gonna waste any time um with the settings and uh yeah without further ado let's begin so um this game dark cloud i actually um played it on a demo once uh on the ps2 it's a really old anime type like game uh well it's very very old on the ps2 so i have played this game before i didn't really finish it uh, it was quite a lot of fun when i played it so i wanted to try and get a somewhat decent uh gameplay out of it. so yeah without further ado let's begin okay we're getting like 37 frames per second uh, not bad at least but at least we have less glitches uh, compared to my last two videos uh, my last two videos that I was doing on the emulator it, it was having so much glitches so I thought you know let's try and get at least one kind of decent game out so again as I've mentioned before games that have uh, less bugs less glitches or less vertex explosions they tend to run a lot slower as we're getting somewhat like 25 frames per second uh, however um, they're, yeah, they're less glitches, so they're a lot slower. So I tend to put everything at fast as well. So I tweak the settings, put everything at fast uh, to see how it performs. So at least let's try and get one somewhat decent game out. Okay. And as always, the character models always tend to slow down the game. However, in game it seems to be running very slow. And this is just like pre rendered. No, not pre rendered technically, but. Yeah, again, 20 frames per second. At least the audio is this the audio is kind of in sync. It's, actually it's pretty much in sync, but as we can tell because of the frame rate, it's running very very slow. slower frames per second but much slower frame rate okay depends on different areas as well it seems I was on my side. 
Okay. Alright, so the game is extremely slow. Uh, at least there's lots, less glitches. So we kind of um, got to see a few areas. So let's see how the game performs. Well, sort of. See how the game performs. So now we're getting 60. At least when it comes to all the text. It's somewhat a lot faster. Actually, I'm going to try and see if I can breeze through, through all this. Okay, it's time to slow down. Except turn. Okay, cool. That's the default name. Okay. Now it's slowing down again. So again, less bugs in this game, but again, much slower. Now here is all about performance. However, the glitchy ones definitely need compatibility compatibility fixes and most importantly optimization oh Jesus 15 13 Oof. okay there's a speed up and then it goes slow then it speeds up then goes slow the EMPS and then that's back to 19 now back to 13 Okay, we can't be here forever, come on. Anyway, as fun as this would be, we're gonna have to skip this. Skip. So we're again very, very slow frame rate in the cutscenes and somewhat uh, slow and fast in the gameplay. Somewhat. Okay, 60. Nice. Okay, now we're in game. Everything seems to be working. We're getting 30 FPS. There's less models, so somewhat speed up. Let's not make things too loud. So there's less objects, less um, model models here, so I think we can get the kind of speed up there. Uh, if the game looks a bit pixelated, it's literally because of it's on times one, not on times two. So that's also rendering resolution, by the way. Okay. Indoors, there's a lot more models, a lot more textures, UVs, character model. Okay, there's another character there. Uh, more assets as well, so it's definitely going to slow down the game. But at least we're not seeing any vert vertex explosions or anything like that. voice acting or text but okay
Okay, we are getting lots much more slow down, so I want to see if I can try and skip this. Unfortunately, okay, I can't. Alright. Romero's still alive. Uh, let's see how the cave fits. Right. Select to edit. Oh, it speeds up in edit mode at least. Huh. Oh, that also speeds me up. Okay. Let me see if I can go over here. Nice. That's good. And it speeds up in 50. Okay. Alright. What? 30 FPS when I'm actually in. Well, third person mode, I guess. Use item with square. Okay. Right now we're in the cave. Now we're gonna get some fighting done. It's like a little Legend of Zelda dungeon. <laughs> I love this kind of uh, animation there. Ah, uh, 2D animation, I love it. Ovens can be broken, okay. Repairing power. Can also equip. I remember how to fight. Okay. Fire man, at least I remember how to fight. But the weapon is now the Joe Beach is now low. Again, 28 frames per second. Chest. 
feels like I'm playing an old. Oh, okay, it's not really Legend of Zelda, but sort of like nice combination of Final Fantasy and Zelda, I guess. Oh, speed up there. Nice. Okay, so I now I know where all the enemies are. I have to be careful, otherwise my sword will break. You're done now. Alright. It's going so slow. Okay, that. Oh, you got me good. Poisoned generation. Okay. Now I'm poisoned. Ah, oh, it feels like Pokemon again. My Pokemon is poisoned. So, gotta watch those bats. Man. Okay. There's nothing more here. Okay, hold on, there's one more. Oh, fine, I'm losing health fast. I don't think I have an antidote though. Antidote drink neutralizes poison. There we go. Yes. Okay. Back to the game. It runs really, really slow. And this way will be here forever. Okay. Write this right here, right now. I wonder where that question mark takes me. Here's uh, the rusty wheel. Run faster. No, nope. can't run faster. Okay then. Must be where the bus key is. Alright. And this must be the way back out. How do I get back? How do I get out? Oh, I can't. I can't get out. Okay. Oh uh, well. It's just one more area. So guys, um, this is how the emulator, well, the game is running on the emulator. Uh, I'm going to end the video here guys because um, the frame rate is really, really slow. Although the audio is somewhat in perfect sync, the game is really running very slow. But the good news is there's less glitches, there's less um, vertice explosion. So hopefully um, this might be good enough to, you know, uh, make you guys give this game a try. But anyways guys, uh, let me know what you think about the game in the comments below and if you guys have a suggestion of a game you want to see tested on the Nvidia Shield, let me know in the comments below and you know what it is guys, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.